On this channel, we have covered various wing designs, including telescopic rotors, X wings, covert flaps, cyclogyros, and fan wings. In this video, we will cover a wing design that gained significant attention in the 2000s. It is the tubercle wing that was inspired by humpback whales. The tubercle wing demonstrated high lift and lower drag, particularly at high angles of attack. It was patented in 2005 and the patent is currently held by Whale Power Corporation. The tubercle wing has an interesting tale. Its concept originated from Dr. Frank Fish, who had been fascinated by humpback whale's fins. These fins allowed the whales to turn with great agility despite its massive size. It's interesting to note that humpback whales have the highest fin length ratio among all whales. It was only when a humpback washed up on a beach that he got to study the fin in more detail. He used the fin carcass and cut it into several sections along the length of the fin. He observed that each cross section resembled an airfoil with varying cord lengths caused by the tubercles on the leading edge. He shared his findings with an aerospace engineer, Philip Watts, who analyzed the fin for flow. What he found was astounding. Not only the flow over the fin generated more lift because of the tubercles, but also reduced the drag at the same time. The explanation was that tubercles focused the flow between the bumps. The focus flow remained attached for longer on the surface of the wing. The localized acceleration of the flow over the section between the bumps also increased the lift coefficient. A patent was filed and Whale Power Corporation was established. Testing of the prototypes revealed up to 20% energy savings. This wasn't all. The tubercles had structural benefits too. They gave the wing greater stability and durability. The range of applications of this technology are wide. Because of the high lift and lower drag, not only could it be used for wings of aircraft, but also in propellers, turbines, compressors, pumps, and even cooling fans. It provides energy savings and results in quieter operation. When it comes to application as an aircraft wing, it is interesting to note that whale fins experience the same Reynolds number as a high-speed aircraft. Although the whale moves at a slower speed, but the density of water, which is approximately 830 times higher than air, compensates for the lower speed. Research has been carried out for various tubercle formations. There are reports of 5-10% to gain in lift-to-drag ratio, delayed stall, and improved lift-to-drag ratio in post-stall by 17%. People have made drones and RC planes with tubercle wings, but manufacturing them is only possible with 3D printers, meaning limited adoption. Having said that, ceiling fans and CPU fans using tubercle wings have been commercialized. Akin to Custer Channel Wing, the adoption of tubercle wing hasn't really taken off. The complexity of manufacture and patent rights have limited commercial exploration. The tubercle wing remains a promising concept that has yet to achieve mainstream adoption. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from it, then please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.